I played Fire Emblem Three Houses five times now. There are four different routes you can take, so each playthrough is different every time. I've done every single playthrough from Hufflepuff to Gryffindor to Slytherin and to the other Slytherin. As much as I've played Three Houses, I could not tell you in great detail what the actual story is. I refuse to do any research on the story because I think that would make the review a little more authentic. Okay, here we go. There's three nations all joined together as one to support the Avatar, who has the power of dragon, and they all live together in harmony until one day the Fire Nation attacked, and when the Avatar was needed most, she vanished. It seemed like all hope was lost, until one day the new Avatar reappeared to save the world from devastation, and to unite all people within that nation, and to denounce the evils of truth and love. Byleth and the other main character would say, surrender now or prepare to fight. The Scythia, that's right. Three Houses was a ride I was not expecting. Even though the game has weird looking idol animations, Ignats, and some embarrassing dialogue. How I just love to clean, clean the library room. It's still a fun ride. As much crap as I give the dialogue and to some characters, the majority of characters though are extremely well written and the stories itself steals the show for me. If my character died in the game, then the character died in real life. I didn't want that kind of blood on my hands, so I would try not to make dumb decisions. Even so, I would still make dumb decisions. Finally found so many reasons to live. Brutal, but I'd rather say Control Z and then Control V. In old RPGs, you just click on a move and see a health bar of your opponent's JPEG move right to left. For this, however, there are cool animations and sound effects that just really draw you in. When your unit of men just start roaring and trampling over a horde of enemies. When your character avoids an attack while hitting a crit. When there's less than a 50% chance for you to pass an exam, but you pass anyways. All of this is nothing but satisfying. A lot of people have complained about the repetitiveness of this game, and yeah, it's extremely repetitive. You fight in battles to level up your characters, then you attend the school, then you go to band practice, then you have lunch with your classmates, and then you go to lectures to level up your skills. You do this over and over and over again until the game is over. That routine is never broken. And the music, man. Every song feels like it would be featured on HD sound. Fodlin wins is this beautiful piece that begins with thunderous trumpets, telling you you're going to win the battle. Fierce as fire is this intense, epic melody that eggs you on, making you feel like this is the most significant fight of your life. And broken routine, ho 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 ho. Yeah, I'll let you guys ponder on that one. And there's so many songs in this game. There's like over a hundred songs, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go back to the combat. Each character has their own strengths and weaknesses, and the goal is figuring out how to use each of them to their full potential, like Raphael or Dudu is strong against most characters, but when dark magic is involved, they are screwed. The Scythia can basically one-shot everybody, but like the fragile butterfly she is, she can also get one-shotted. You have to be very strategic with how the battle goes, and sometimes the opponent will do something very unexpected. You might have to change your strategy and figure out how to best utilize everybody and maybe just retreat and regroup. I don't think I've expressed this enough, but there's a lot to take from playing Three Houses. One of my favorite themes I took from this game is that traumatic events may break us down and turn us into the worst versions of ourselves, even monsters. If we allow the past to haunt us without seeking a new path, we'll never change and we'll always be broken. But if we allow ourselves to let go of our pride and allow help from others, we can finally move forward and create a better life for ourselves by focusing on what brings us peace rather than what diminishes it. 